Yo, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm JSCar, and today I'm going to be showing you how I created the synth for To The Top. I know a lot of you want to know, it's actually a very simple sound. Um, so let's just go ahead. I'm going to be using Serum for this because that's what I used. Um, but you can pretty much use anything as long as it has wavetables on it, like uh, Vital or something like that. But the ending sound is going to be sounding like this. So yeah, um, open up a Zerum, and we actually already put the melody there. It sounds like this. Remember, it is very important that in order to know if the sound sounds the way it should sound, you should be playing it as a chord, okay? So two notes or three, whatever, but something like this. Something like that. Now, we are going to be going into the first oscillator. We're just going to be using one oscillator hat. Interestingly enough, go to analog and select basic CJW. Once you select CJW, go to your wavetable position to around 200. Now it should be sounding like this. It sort of sounds like a saw wave, but it sounds more analog in a way. Now put it one octave lower. Now it sounds way more similar. Now let's put more voices because its original sound has about nine voices or something like that. You can use seven. Play around with a detune. It should have around 36, 37, 37, something like that. Something crazy. Add more blend. Now we can go into the LFO and we can add a sine wave. We add it to LFO too. And link this to the fine tuning of the, of the oscillator. Then put this to 2019, something like that. And put this to 25, something like that. So take it down to 25-ish. Now play it. And what this is doing is creating a sort of vibrato to it. That's what I wanted. If you listen to this, you actually see that it's actually a little bit exaggerated. So we can put this down instead of up. So like 20 down. Sound is getting closer, but it's not quite there, right? So. We need a filter now. Actually, no. We need an LFO that works as an envelope. Let's add a little bit of release to this. Something like that, about 115. Now let's link this LFO and let's put it exactly the way it drops. Now we want to have it something like this, like, uh, like this, something like this. Now, make sure this is an envelope, of course, envelope. I remember I did something like 1.4 or something like that. Yeah, it was 1 fourth point or dot. So make sure to click on dot and then put it at 1 fourth because it's longer than 1 fourth, but shorter than 1, one half. So that worked for me. I don't know why, but after this, here comes the best part about it. If you add a low pass and you put it at 12, something like that, remove the resonance and link it to LFO1. Make sure to actually make it one-sided. And by in order to do that, you can go to the matrix and simply click here. And there you have it. Or you can click shift option and it's gonna switch between those. Ta-da. Now put it all the way up, I mean all the way down, and then put it at about here. You can put it a little bit up, something like that. Now, that is sounding pretty good, but it's pretty quiet. So we need to add some texture to it. We can add some texture by adding a noise. What I did was added Atmos. We can add Atmos 14. It doesn't really matter. Make sure to add it on, on the filter thing. Now, we need to add some hyper dimension because it's wide. It's a very wide sound. We need to add some, some size to it like 30% at 50%, a 50% mix. Something like that. Then we can add some distortion. We can use soft clip or tube distortion, whatever, really. Just add a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Now we can add a compressor and it's pretty much gonna be done. We can add some threshold, like 25. 
And let's add a ton of release. Now you can add some gain. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I actually have a thing here where you actually, this is how I actually add it. Oh, another thing that I did to this was actually put the volume up here. You can make this way better by adding some drive, some resonance, and by playing around with the cutoff. Like... And that's pretty much how I did this sound. It's honestly such a basic sound. I actually added a little bit of portamento because when you play two sounds together, they sort of like glide and it, I added it like around five milliseconds, something like that. Something like that. And I, I mean, at this point, the song is done. You can add other stuff like a chorus, uh, If you want to experiment, you can also add like, I don't know, a band reject or something like that. Whatever you want to add. Like a sample hole or something like that. But as of now, this is how the song was made. Again, this is a sort of re-space. That is just, I don't know. It's a sort of re-space that it's being played as a chord and as plugs in the same melody. That's how it was made. All right, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, again, if you have any suggestions for future videos, maybe more sound design tutorials or a studio setup tour or headphone review or whatever, I'll make sure to make that happen. I was a little bit eager to go back, to, to come back to YouTube because of my other channel that got hacked, but I really love making videos. So here I am. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later for another video. This was Jay Esker. And today I showed you how to create the synth for to the top. See you guys later.